Well, the recent attack outside of North Tonawanda Tim Hortons that made news earlier this week is shining a light now once again on domestic violence. Statistics show about one in four women will experience something like this, and that's just the cases that are being reported. Well, two on your sides, Karis Belger has information on what you should know to stay safe. For people in an abusive relationship, getting out and getting help can seem impossible, but there is a way. I spoke with Mary Murphy at the Family Justice Center about what you need to know if you or a loved one is in this situation. First are the signs. And Murphy says abusers all subscribe to the same handbook. They start off charming, but soon they slowly begin to take control over the victim's lives. Got to get this victim to be away from family and friends. The experts call that the isolation phase always removing them from the network of possible support they're going to be able to fall back on when the abuse accelerates. When it accelerates, it begins to get physical, and by then victims find it hard to leave, and the abuser can make them believe what's happening to them is their fault, scaring them into staying. You leave, you're dead. Children being used as pawns in these cases, right out of the playbook. I'll kill those kids. You even think about leaving. So how do you get help and get out of this situation? A safety plan of when you'll leave and what you'll need is key. This can include an order of protection for the victim and any children and photos of the abuse to make sure the protective order goes through. At the Family Justice Center, staff provide all of this and more and cater it to each woman's situation. We actually Skype with the judges, the attorney referees on the bench at family court right here from the Center for Emergency Orders of Protection. But Murphy says the key to helping someone is support. And whether that's friends or family or a coworker, letting the victim know you care can be motivation enough, but it has to start with a tough conversation. I'm worried about your safety. I'm worried about the safety of the kids. I've seen some things that concern me. Resources like this warning sign pamphlet are all available on the Family Justice Center website. There's also instructional videos you can watch to start the conversation if you feel you or a family member are at risk. I'll have links to all that information on our website, WGRZ.com. Karis Belger, Channel 2 News.